Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Mm, this is my reporter for uh, uh, my deep learning practice in SQL and MPI. Um, <clears throat> this page, uh, first, and some notice. Uh, yeah, this page is the readme page of my GitHub. Also, all the source code also available in this uh, link. I can really have a check. Uh, okay, now started. For my purpose is to build a um, network to yeah for AI network um, to produce uh, if this really works. I use two data set, one's ERS data set. It's much more small, so I can run it with my local computer. Another one is internal image computer. This is very big, it can only run in the cluster. Uh, in the source code, I do not have this uh, data set. You have to download it and put it in the folder data set. Uh, for the training purpose, all the data will be equally divided for each training network. Uh, I would say this is very important for later MPI. If some nodes get more data, they will be in one step with or with wood. That have their big problem. So equally divided at this. Uh, for the configuration, oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> something I did not mention. It. Um, the project is written in Go. Sorry, I think I do not open the I, uh, I do not open the camera by it. Uh, it's written in Go, so there will be a configuration file. In this file, you can determine how our model or how the architecture, architecture looks like. The first layer has three, 13 neurons. The second one, head layer has 20. Uh, the other one has only three because this is only three project to project uh, for data set errors. Mm, this is only example, but uh, uh, for image classification, there will be another, uh, I think, six. Uh, also, this is for the label uh, hot one, hot night, in <coughs> encoded, and also how much epochs uh, you want to train for the whole model. A learn rate is very important for model training. Also, the batch size. The batch size determines um, how many instances, after how many instances has been treated, has been treated, there will be a updating for the network. Uh, if you do it much more, more, there will be much more yeah, interaction. Uh, this model runs uh, with not with uh, singularity as I made before. I think before because there's some problem for the install uh, insta go eighteen in singularity. Yeah, <clears throat> but uh, briefly, I can still use the binary binary executable code uh, just with the go. Field. This were uh, just give us a chance to directly uh, execute in our cluster like this. Uh, I think you are really familiar with this uh, as accurate as is possible. Uh, this is our uh, <coughs> the project notation. Uh, sorry. Uh, now let's come to the model, the deep learning model. Uh, RDI AI comes to our deep, learn, deep learning, so the computing source is really become very crucial for the training process. There are many applications, but uh, the demand is huge. Uh, we can scale with GPU or TPU, but the distributed learning is one topic very high now. I think what I did build this model is belong to this distributing network, distributing learning. Um, the single network how it should looks like after the uh, train data put it in. Um, 
in one input layer, uh, will be multiplied with the width, also added as a bias after the single mode function is coming to the input layer. Uh, there will be normalization. Uh, also, I tried another uh, such as standardization. Um, this can combine, but I think standardization works better. Uh, also, the same process will carry, go on for the second layer and also the third layer. After that, the loss, L2 loss, will be calculated. According to the loss, we use the back propagation algorithm to update uh, at first uh, the third layer, second layer, or the first layer. Um, now, concentration will be some the deviation of single mode, and also normalization and standardization will be applied. Uh, here is the problem we have to decide, uh, even for the single. Network, we have to decide which algorithm we have to use to update our weights. Um, it's called stochastic grid descent. They will be after each instance uh, have training to work out after each instance will be updated from uh, for a weight. Also, the mini batch, this is as we use it um, after four instances. This Whereas the mid batch size will be equal to four. Also, one option is we can also train all the data. And once this done, we update our weights. Uh, yeah, each equal, each equal. Um, that's the uh, one mention. Okay, now let's come to this illustration, how it Basically, just tell us how it uh, works, just I explain, explained it before. Uh, the front, forehand, and the back end. Uh, for a single mode, I applied with totally go. If later we have time, there's some question, we can go to the source code and review it in order to make it more. Uh, correctly, I also write in this folder three Python code. Uh, they will have the same structure, so we'll become compare how it really looks like. Uh, this is how it looks like for single model after 100 people, the loss keep decreasing. And the accuracy is increased almost to 100%. This looks great. But this very depends on the initial state. So if you really run this code, it can happen. Do not really play very well. Very interesting. It may never happen. Now we come to the MPI communication. Uh, I use Go because MPI, there was a package in Go for MPI, uh, just uh, one package such as MPI broadcast, uh, it's a wider array, use MPI broadcast. Also, basically they are only uh, MPI commands I used for our, for my project. You can say this is totally just use the C. Uh, now I have to design how it should look, uh, how the architecture works. And the first one is no con connective. It will use saving and ascending and receiving. Um, <clears throat> this works next. So, uh, first time, at first, the data will be according to the rink. Each process has a rink. To equally separate for all the nodes, the nodes we gave it for our MPI run slash n. Um, after the data is equally divided, will be sent to the same node, uh, 
uh, from first layer, second layer, third layer, and compare to its out, out, uh, labeling, uh, labeling and with uh, back propagation. Each layer, the updating will be saved. And this is only one step in the training batch. After four times, one training size is finished. There will be an accumulated updating value send it to NPI data. And there will be all there will be a process for uh, all load, send all the MPI data to the mean networking. While the mean networking were not really trained, they only have the same structure. Uh, and one thing is also important at first before the or node start to train, there will be an initialization of the main network and it will broadcast all its initial value of each layer to other nodes, other train nodes. And this is the first step. Sorry, this is the second step. Okay. Uh, Basically, after each train batch finished, there will be a MPI communication uh, for receiving at first and then sending and receiving. Another report, oh, sorry, for debater with the uh, text. At first rank equal to one and equal to zero, this is the mean network. The initial will be initialized and order for training and will be broadcasting. And then train for all train network. Uh, after one training batch finished, and all the value to the mean network, then they will be accumulated here and send it back to the train network. The train network start training on next next batch. Another approach is connected uh, they will be also the same as no connective approach for the first two steps. And the first is data will be also the same divided just like before. And the initial value also will be broadcast to each process from the main process. There was a main process, but I just, at this time, denote uh, the rank zero is the main process. After each training batch, there will be four times training and a back four and a back four times. They will send his accumulated uh, training set to the MPI data for all the net uh, all the net nodes, and then there will be a all residue called MPI function, which means for all the MPI set will receive the summation of all nodes. So they will be should be equal. And then his MPI data will give his uh, value accordingly corresponding to each layer so the next train batch can be started. Uh, yeah, this is some description just like I did it for uh, the image. 
uh, or the value through the MPI will be packed into an array and the size of an array will be determined from the communication uh, from the configuration file because the con configuration file will determine which how many layer how many neurons have for each layer uh, so the size can be determined at that time now we can see some performance this is from the errors uh, from this side you can see left side you can see even i started with four courses there will be only three uh network running train because we have a main network in which it do not train only connect the weight and bring them back again the decrease of the loss looks very well uh, also, the accuracy, it works um, as I wanted. For connective, there will be, even you start with four purchase, there will be four purchase or be trading. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just a review. Uh, also from the image for accuracy. Mm, this is our main problem for this project because we just have a very huge data set by image classification. From my local computer, I just only uh, have 200 20 images I can still run in my personal computer. Uh, for the loads in a decrease performance very well. Also, with the connective uh, MPI communication, you can see that because there are four networking. But if we really train this project, train this whole data set, they can be only done in the cluster. Uh, I say before, I send it to 20 network. Uh, those 20 network works, yeah, the same like I said before, for each time there will be, for each 20, Training batch finished, there will be a uh, session uh, will be a uh, communication to update all the uh, weight, which means at that time the weight is almost for all nodes is the same. Mm. This is how what I wanted for all connective network connective. Um, that behavior some how different this is because i changed the learn rate uh the time implication i don't know i just train it for 15. if i train longer perhaps it will be decrease uh continue to decrease um even or set it very well but because of the whole networking can be some very tricky about the structure, such as uh, um, standardization or normalization, also uh, the learn rate, there can be some very different. The great things is the updating of the process, it works as, as I wanted. Oh, there are some discussion uh, I want to approach now. Uh, because the neural network model is implemented not so very well, I still now skip it, very skeptic. Uh, but for single model, yeah, very works very well. 
but for the MPI, uh, I compare these two approach. One is with connect, uh, con connective, one is with send and receiving. For each training approach, uh, for each training batch, there will be on, for each training epoch, there will be two minutes. But for training, for singing and receiving, they're almost double. Um, now it's come to what I still not finished. I can change the notes and start perhaps the scan, scanning behavior such as the spent diagram, but because the time I was not finished now. Also, the base size, which means at that time I can let at first 10 instance complete run forward and backward and then all the 10 times updating were accumulated then sent back to the mean process uh, they will reduce the communication between the mpi but that's still also not do it because of the time limit um, i think i will have time in our in my reporter to Add this if I can do it. Uh, they were come from. They were come to the study for Spenda. Yeah, for the conclusion, although Go can be really helpful if we start to build a, a little computation model, and the neural network implementation in Go and be approached for many aspects because for Python we have very famous, very great data form, uh, PyTorch or TensorFlow. But for Go, the, I've built it from scratch. So the big problem, if you have time, we can re review the code, review the code, at least it's pretty. Also, yeah. Cluster can be running for distribution learning very help, helpful benefit because of the large data set. For my personal computer, even 